Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I'd like to uh, rise and to speak in support of this uh, amendment bill, the Burial and Cremation and Termit Rights Amendment Bill. And there's one, it's interesting that to one of the things which actually people get really emotional about is burial places, because it's um, obviously a time of grief when people bury members of their family or, or friend. Uh, and that, while well, that, that grief goes away, the connection to that to that place is very important. And so, uh, to the place, but also to that person. And so, when those places are some in some way interfered with, it actually does generate a lot of emotion and grief again. And then that's right, right, right across many cultures, uh, and people of different faiths or people with no faith. Uh, people do see uh, places where people are buried or interned as uh, very uh, places of sanctity. In other words, they're places where they need to be held in great deal of respect. It's unfortunate some people choose to often sometimes interfere with places, burial places, and does cause uh, people quite a bit of grief. And uh, from time to time, we hear about places which have been vandalised um, and that... Uh, and the members of the family, members of the community, are quite rightly, quite rightly saddened and at times outraged by that behaviour. It, it, it speaks to us as human beings that we wish to respect the generations before us uh, because we accept that it is a, often the sacrifice of those generations before us that actually give us to live in, in a way which we de now do live and we are the envy of the world. And so, when these things happen, they do generate a lot of a lot of discussion. Um, Madam Acting Speaker, is that uh, um, this bill? What this bill does very importantly, and I won't cover all the different bits and pieces. They've been covered very well by previous speaker and also the minister who introduced the bill to this place have been have been covered. But suffice to say that this, this bill does is provide or helps protect rights held by persons uh, persons uh, who are buried or interned at a site. And as mentioned by uh, the Minister of Multicultural Affairs, um, is that uh, with an increasing number of churches being sold as uh, congregations diminish and, and churches are sold, particularly in rural areas where the churches and often are joined to a cemetery or place of burial, uh, when those churches are sold um, by the various churches, church organisations, often the cemetery goes with the church site itself. And that does create quite a, quite a bit of issues about what happens to the persons being buried there. Not only from people from the point of view of people, uh, immediate family, but also from a historical point of view, because cemeteries are a great place to actually understand histories of an area. Uh, and so what this uh, bill does is help to protect those rights and to ensure that those people who have rights to those local uh, sites are maintained. And it came up just recently because there is a, a church in my electorate on the market. Uh, the Uniting Church at Gore River is on the market. And I did get a, a request from a person saying, well, actually, I've got family members buried there. I'm concerned about what's going to happen to them if the place is sold. Now, the Minister for Multiculturalism has indicated that the Uniting Church, who are still in this particular place, are going to interview uh, the people who seek to purchase it, and I think that's a great initiative, and it tries try to buy them through some contractual arrangements to make sure the sites is looked after. And that's great. Now, that's only a contract between the church and its purchaser. If that purchaser then sells it, that actually won't necessarily bind the next purchaser. What this act does is ensures, irrespective of what this purchaser says or does or does not do, this actually will protect those rights uh, in perpetuity, so for those people. And so, uh, for that reason, Mr. Uh, Madam um, Acting Speaker, I support the bill because it provides assurances to those people who have loved ones buried in sites which are no longer cemeteries.